Okay, morning year nines. Today we're doing the, the topic order of operations. So write that in your book. What we're learning about today is the order in which you do various additions, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, etc. Okay? So, the first thing we need to bear in mind is a mnemonic to help us do the order of operations in the correct way. And the, the mnemonic we need to know is BIDMAS. So, the B stands for brackets. The I stands for indices. The D stands for division. The M stands for multiplication. The A, I'm sure you've guessed, stands for addition. And the S stands for subtraction. So what this is telling us, it's saying to us that we should do operations in the following order. Now a couple of things to bear in mind. Division and multiplication, they can happen at the, the same time. Division is not more powerful than multiplication. They happen, one can happen before the other. And the same thing with addition and subtraction. What it really is telling us is if we see something in brackets, an operation in brackets, do that first. If we see an index notation, we do that second. If we see a division and multiplication, we do that third. And if we see an addition or subtraction, we do that fourth. Okay, I'm going to do four examples. Copy these in your book, and then you'll be ready to do the questions for the lesson. Here we go. I'm going to write bid mass at the top. So we can remember that. And here's example one. Okay, suppose we did the question 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4. Now, bid mass is telling us that brackets first, there's no brackets, indices next, there's no indices, division and multiplication next. There is a multiplication here. So highlight it, and we'll do that first. So 3 multiplied by 4 is actually 12. But don't forget, we've got 2 plus that. So 2 plus 12, and 2 plus 12 is actually 14. And that's the first example done. Make sure you show each stage of your working as I've done. Okay, next example. Example 2. I'm going to have bid mass at the top here as usual. This time, we're going to do 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4. Looks almost identical. But we've got brackets there. Now, bid mass says do the operation inside the brackets first. So this time we're going to do the 2 plus 3 first. And 2 plus 3 is 5. And then we're going to multiply that by 4. And 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. And we're done. So that's example 2 done for us. Right, let's do another example. Example 3. Okay, let's throw in a, a subtraction in here. Let's do something like um, 10 subtract um, 2 multiplied by 3. Now, bid mass tells us look for a brackets, there are none, an index, there are none, a divisional multiplication, there is one here. And 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, so we do that first. And then we're going to do 10 subtract the 6, which is Okay, so again, it works in that way. Right, let's go on to uh, something with division in it. Let's do example 4 here. Let's suppose we had something like 2 plus um, 8 divided by 4. Now, bid mass... Tells us brackets, indices, division, and multiplication. We've got a division, so let's do this first. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And we've got another 2 here, so 2 plus 2, which is 4. And we're done. Okay, very last example. I'm going to do very much to end with, just so we've covered all bases. Example 5, here's a tricky one for you. We're going to have 3 plus 
4 squared multiplied by 2. Now, we're going to write our bid mass up here. Bid mass says look for brackets first, there are no brackets, then look for index. Now here is index notation. You should know that 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is obviously 16. So we're going to do that first. So we're going to write our 16 in there first. And we've got 3 plus 16 multiplied by 2. Now we're going to apply bid mass again to this line. There's no brackets or indices, but there is a multiplication here, which must happen before that addition. Now 16 multiplied by 2, that is 32. And we've got the 3 plus 32, and we should have the answer 35. And we're done. So there are five examples of very basic bid mass introduction. You should now be able to do the questions in class. Thank you for watching.